It's the time of year that I used to hate as a kid, but which parents love back to school time. And if you are a student heading back to hit the books, we're looking at three apps that will help you study, beginning with Cliff's Notes Study Guides. It comes with a study guide for the Canterbury Tales, and then additional books are two bucks a piece. And it goes the gamut from Macbeth to Great Gatsby to Catcher in the Rye to Hunger Games. Tons of classics of literature <laughs> and, and then Hunger, the Hunger Games. Games which it just sticks out like a sore thumb. I can't believe it. It's the one book in it. It's but you know what? Really this classic. is a really, really slick app. What I really liked about it is, is there's the cram yes. session or whether a more longer study if you actually want to go through everything. Why do you get Cliff's notes if you're going to go through the long study exactly. session? Exactly. You need the cramming. There's quizzes, mm -hmm. there's notes, there's character maps. This is a really, really slick looking app. Yeah, there's five or six different levels of study. You can go for the hardcore cram in which somebody reads you a synopsis of the book and then you have got a very basic things on the characters and plot or you can go deeper and deeper and get like 10 question quizzes, 15 question quizzes, right down to the full study guide that's got the entire list of characters, all the plots, it's got critical analysis, it's got essays on the book. I was impressed by Cliff No Study Guides. For me, it's an 8 out of 10. Ah, only a 7 out of 10 for me. Our second studying app is called Chegg Flashcards. Now, if you are the type that used to make all sort of flashcards on paper and quiz yourself before a big exam, this might be for you. This is a digital version of that. You can create your own set of flashcards and then quiz yourself. It's all gesture control based, so you can slide through the cards by going left and right, up if you are correct, and down if you are wrong. Steve, what do you think? And what's cool about Check Flashcards is it allows you to download for free other people's flashcard decks. The only problem is that if you go into like a general area like science, you go into biology, and then there's like 10 decks called biology. So unless you know specifically what, you know, somebody's well, made a deck these, your these textbook. These clearly look user-generated. They're very right? much user-generated. So yeah. a page out of Cliff Notes might have been good here. If they actually curated yeah. some, you right. know, that would totally make it agreed. super handy and, you know, and make, some. help us dumb people. You can do less work in learning. <laughs> I did feel this was a bit bare Bones, but it does what it says. For me, check flashcards is 7 out of 10. That was pretty solid. 7.5 for me. The last studying app we're looking at is called Study Smart, and this, <laughs> this is a little bit different. The idea of Study Smart is it uses sound waves to sync your brain up into a concentrative study prone state. And it sounds like it could be legit. The way it works Funny, is. I, I think it sounded like BS. I am honestly bagging on this a little bit because I don't think it would work for me. I think the app is okay. They cover a lot of bases. They've got morning, afternoon, evening, night programs, and it plays an ambient sound along with the weird kind of frequency. So you, you do have oceans or rainfalls. You can pick another sound that kind of takes the edge off the really weird tone. I just found that after about five minutes of losing the tone, it was, it was annoying to me. This. I couldn't stick with it long enough to determine if it was helping at all, and really, it's probably bunk. For me, Study Smart is a six. Yeah, I gotta kinda split the difference and give it a six as well.